tunnel when I can use salves. All right, we made it through that somehow. Jeez. Okay, put some more power on me. I need some more health. Elgo is still chilling out. Okay. Well, it should be smooth sailing to Transentia from here. I'll be interesting more combat areas. Just those creepy humanoid robots. Welcome to Transantia Airways. It would be our pleasure to take you high into the clouds, wouldn't it, number two? Indeed it would, number one. All aboard, next stop is Transantia, the city of steel. Wait, I thought you were number one and she was number two. Oh, these robots are playing mind games with me. I actually haven't used any of the health leech enchants yet. So I wonder, does it only transfer health from my normal attacks, or does it also transfer health from my spirit attacks? Because that'd be crazy. Have you ever been served grog by a robot? Huh? Ah, my boy, you are in for a treat at the Rusty Cog Tavern. All right, looks like we've successfully made it to uh, Steampunkantia, the city in the clouds. I'm Asgarth of the Transentine Maintenance Department, and. Uh, I'm afraid that the elevator up to Transentia is temporarily closed. I don't suppose either of you two have any experience in engineering. But you're looking at the best inventor uh, around. I only started this morning, and the elevator is broken down already. These cogwheels need to be fitted into the water pump. Should be no problem for my trusty jetpack and box pushing skills. In fact, speaking of boxes, look at all these boxes to push. It's like a uh, Christmas morning for <laughs> our buddy here. Uh, this block puzzle is uh, somewhat complex, but still no match for our keen intellect. There we go. Ha-ha! No one's goods are safe from All me and right. my block-pushing abilities. Oh, cool, another wolf totem. I think I've got two or three of those. I might go ahead and get Tal's uh, special weapon. Oh, what a cool-looking robot. Kind of looks like a, a big daddy. Like, just not a big daddy. Just, uh, it, okay. We should just say it kind of looks like a guy in a diving suit. Just not, uh, not big scary. Okay, so that's the elevator I need to fix. Switch back to Elko. Hmm, I'm sure breaking this box will help. Bam! Take that box. So I think that this whole city is like way up high in the clouds, like in the mountains. It's not just that it's to the far north. I think the, the, the blimp is literally the only way to reach it, which is pretty neat. Ah, yes, we have a ladder right here. Mm, yes. Very uh, technologically advanced, this city. We have uh, ladders installed throughout the, throughout the perimeter. Okay, so I can use this to fly over here. 
Hurry, hurry, hurry. Fuel's running out, man. Alright, made it. But how do I get down from here? Ah, like that. Now we can take the elevator. Well, Tal, this is where it all started for me. Ah, smell that. A rare blend of fresh mountain air and engine oil. I tell you though, I wouldn't swap it for the world. How old were you when you left? Oh, in my late teens, Professor Hayton spotted my potential, and before I knew it, I was working directly for the Queen. I was still very young. At that time, I thought I could do no wrong. Then there was the accident. Can't imagine how horrible it must have been to lose an arm. Not as painful as having a new one grafted on. It took months. If it wasn't for Tilly, I would have just given up. She has a heart of gold. Ah, uh, yes. There are two women in my life. Lucica, whose bags of gold paid for my arm. And Tilly, whose heart of gold gives me the strength to live with it. As a man, I am deeply indebted. There's someone else who I owe a debt to, and you'll meet him today. Professor Hayton has a brilliant mind. Come on. Transentia is the high seat of technology. The university and its professors are known far and wide. Here, life is made easier with the help of numerous robots and machines made from precious transentium. Hey, cool, an armor. And a save point. This city is made of convenient things. I'll have a chance on my armor too. Who knows? Shadow armor. Let's see what I got. I could have anti venom, hex proof, da -da -da, and that. I kind of like the anti venom because uh, poison really sucks. But I've also got my buddy that can get rid of poison effects, so I guess it's not a big deal. I'll throw in some damage shields. Throw in two of those. Ah, I can't use two at the same time. Okay. So, we can recurse. Uh, well, the other thing is, this says that it gives me immunity to weaken and curse, and immunity is slow. But this says only resistance to poison. So, I don't know if that would actually, like, does it make me immune to it, or just less likely to affect me? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Those are the only. That's the only one that actually does legitimate damage to me, I think. But the weaken uh, and curse of stats effect cause me to take more damage, but they don't actually do direct damage to me. I'm going to try putting the anti venom in there, because that's the most annoying one. Alright. Now, Mojo, what's your story? Two spirit runes. Yeah, I'll just put one spirit rune and one health rune. Thank you for your business. Should help my health problems a little bit. Robots, robots everywhere. I tell you, once we got out of the uh, the castle, which is your pretty standard medieval castle fare. Um, 
the environment just got a lot more inventive. From the Shadowlands, this cool robotic city in the sky. Slows the blacksmith, scrapyard, and the Rusty Cog Tavern. That must be the Rusty Cog Tavern. They're so technologically advanced they have neon bar signs. <laughs> supposed to be heading anyway. The university? I think that's where we're supposed to be going. Oh, hey! Chest! Soldiers pay. Alright. 500 florins. Jeez, that would buy a rune in and of itself. Can we see the ground at all? Nope. We are far too high up. Ah, that's the university. I got uh, that thing through an elevator platform over here, I think. Greetings, I am your lift attendant. Which level would you like to go to? A level not populated by your creepy robot kind. Going up. Even creepier is the fact that not only do they have robot boobs, but they have a little heart on their neck. Just uh, uh. People try to make robots look too friendly, that's when I get real suspicious like. <laughs> <laughs> 